Zelda Breath of the Wild is a beautiful game by Nintendo. It's maybe one of the best games I've ever played and I know you feel the same. But how would it be to play this masterpiece in true VR? Just think about it. This could literally kill games like Skyrim VR, Fallout 4 VR or even a Half-Life 3 VR game. Unfortunately, Nintendo has apparently no clue of what real virtual reality is about, how it should look, feel and differ from a PC VR monitor gaming experience. While we keep screaming about VR support, they bring us a label cardboard toy for 5-year-olds and call it virtual reality. Personally, I find it quite funny. But there is hope. Thanks to some great efforts made by the rapidly growing VR community, we will most likely have a native VR mod available for the Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Wii U games sooner or later. And while we are still not there yet, we have at least a few alternative ways to play it in VR already now. Welcome back to Viver, guys, today I'm gonna show you the most immersive way that I have found to play Zelda Breath of the Wild on a PC with any PC VR headset available. Before we begin, a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsor Sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. Now let me just be clear here, what I am about to show you is not a native VR mod for Switch games, in fact it's not even a true VR implementation. What it is though is an alternative way to play Zelda on your PC headset with 3D depth in first person view that will for sure make you feel that you are actually playing a VR game. It is fake, it's far from perfect, but at least it's the best way I have found so far until we see a native VR mod released. What you're currently looking at is me playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on a Pimax 5K Plus VR headset with wide field of view, high resolution and stereoscopic 3D vision on my PC rig thanks to the CMU emulator and a few tweaks. CMU, no, why are you downloading illegal Switch games, Martin? Well, if this is what you're thinking, then you're wrong. CMU is a fully legit Nintendo Wii U emulator and where you get your games from is another story. Of course, you could download some illegal games, but you can also back up your original purchased Wii U version of the Zelda Breath of the Wild into your PC and use it with the CMU emulator. So it's all up to you in the end, don't play the emulator, I stopped personally playing pirated games many many years ago and so should you. And yes, CMU is a Wii U emulator only and not a Nintendo Switch emulator, but as you probably know already, the Wii U version of Zelda Breath of the Wild is 100% identical to the Nintendo Switch version, just as many others but not all Switch games. And man, it looks beautiful playing it on a PC, and even 4K resolutions are supported and yes, it's actually fully smooth with the proper GPU and CPU. You have probably heard about the YouTube channel called BSOD Gaming or Blue Screen of Death Gaming, a great YouTube channel covering basically everything about Nintendo emulation on PC and much more. Probably the best channel out there and recently he uploaded a video on how you can play Zelda Breath of the Wild with a CMU emulator in a first person view with stereoscopic 3D thanks to the reshade 3D filters and even with simple head tracking on a mobile VR device using a smartphone's gyroscope. While I personally don't care about smartphone VR, I felt I needed to try this mod on my PC with the Pimax headset. And while it indeed works to play on a PC with 3D and first person view in your VR headset in theater mode, you basically are still only looking at the flat big screen in a 3D without head tracking. But this actually got me thinking how can I improve this experience by just doing some tweaks. But it was easier than I thought and eventually I realized I can make it way more immersive immersive, giving me almost the real VR feeling by just doing a few changes compared to what BSOD Gaming did. Before I say anything more, please do not judge this. I know it's not real VR, but try it for yourself and believe me, you will freaking love it. I wouldn't waste my time making a video about this if it wasn't as good as I'm telling you. This really feels like playing Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR with head tracking and 3D. Ok, let me explain my simple solution. One of the last tweaks BSOD Gaming mentioned in his video was to use the VR aspect ratio pack to correct the wide field of view generated by the first person mod for Zelda. Now this might be useful if you intend to play it on a smartphone in VR, but what I realized is that if you don't apply the VR aspect ratio pack, then the CMU emulator will render a very potential wide field of view image of the game without any correction. which when 
viewed in VR on a very big and curved screen actually looks pretty amazing. This requires of course a correct distance between the screen and your headset of course, and also the correct curve or deflection and correct size of the screen to make it feel perfect. By setting the correct values that I will recommend you in this video, you will have a perfectly curved image with 3D view with around 200 degrees of field of view which even is much wider than what you see in the Pimax VR headset. And this means you can move your head around in the image as if the headset was actually tracked in game. Of course you cannot look back or beyond these 200 degrees, but hey this is not a standing up room scale VR game anyway, right? You will be sitting down on your chair or a sofa playing with a gamepad as usual. And yes you will only have 3 degrees of freedom with your head because positional tracking doesn't work in this case, but believe me you will like it anyway. Now of course if you look too far to the sides or up or down then you will start to see the black edges of the screen, but I can assure you that because of the big curved screen around you it will most likely not happen often, even on a wide field of view Pimax VR headset. And the best thing of all, you can play Zelda Breath of the Wild game this way in high resolutions up to 4K or even beyond as long as your PC can handle the frame rate, but more about that in a moment. So does it sound interesting to you? Would you like to try it for yourself? Good, then let's get to the point how you can make it possible. First off, you need the Breath of the Wild game of course, the Wii U version. But I assume you got it already, so let's skip that part. Now you will need to download, install and configure CMU emulator. And my only recommendation here is to visit BSOD Gaming or Blue Screen of Dead Gaming and watch his latest CMU Ultimate Setup Guide. If you follow all his steps in that video, you will have a hundred percent working and optimized CMU setup for your next steps. Once you're done with that and your Zelda Breath of the Wild game works fine and smooth on your PC monitor, then let's head over to BSOD Gaming's VR related video I mentioned before. Skip the step about setting up Android Motion Source, we don't need that here. Let's go to the next step instead and download the first person mod that enables first person view camera in Zelda Breath of the Wild. On the link provided, download the zip file from the website and we will only use the wide field of view mod and not the others. So just go into the folder with the ending name wider field of view, copy that pack file and paste it in the specific actor folder inside your CMU emulator directory as shown here. If you do not want to replace the original file that contains the third person view, make sure to just rename the original file before pasting in the new file that contains the first person view mode. Next, as I said before, we will skip the step about VR aspect ratio pack. Let's now move over to the download and installation of reshade filters that makes the 3D stereoscopic view possible. When opening the file, click select game to install or uninstall from and browse to your CMU emulator executable file and hit open. Now, when selecting the rendering API for the game, select OpenGL. When you get a prompt if you want to download a collection of standard effects, click yes. This will not only download one of the 3D depth filters, but also some other image enhancements filters that might be useful. Just select all of them and click OK. Now if you see successful in the left top corner, you're basically done with this step. If you want to uninstall the reshade filters at any time later on, just run the setup again and choose uninstall instead, but we won't do that now. Now go back to BSOD Gaming video description again and follow his last step by downloading the latest version of the Super Depth 3D filter from GitHub. Download the zip file and copy all content from the shaders folder. Now go into the CMU emulator folder, browse to the folder reshade filters and then browse to shaders folder and paste all the files in there as I'm doing here. Now this will include the Super Depth 3D filter. Turn on your VR headset and start up SteamVR. Before you put on the headset, start up CMU emulator and then start the Zelda game itself on your monitor. First time you start off the game, it will just look normal but with a lower refresh rate overall. That's because reshade is applied and loaded which is quite heavy for the CPU. To bring up the reshade options and settings, hit the home key on your keyboard. Now let's browse through the reshade filters. As you can see, I'm using a filter called Clarity that basically makes the image look better, but that's not really necessary here in this tutorial. 
If you scroll further down, there will be two different 3D stereoscopic filters available in the list. The one is called Super Depth 3D, we downloaded manually, and also the built-in Depth 3D filter that was included in the collection of filters upon installing Reshade. The Super Depth 3D is the preferred one here, I would say. Enable it, and you will see the game image split up in 3D side-by-side -side view immediately. But this is not enough. For the optimal 3D view, I have personally found the best settings for me and my Pimax VR headset. First, enable the auto balance, which will make the 3D depth much better. Next, scroll down to the bottom and enable swap eyes. I'm not sure if all VR headsets really need this, but for Pimax, enabling this made the 3D view more correct. Now, if you prefer to use the other 3D shaders called Depth 3D, then first disable the Super Depth 3D filter and enable Depth 3D. Both plugins does basically the same thing, making the image side by side 3D. Now in the options of that filter, make sure to change the perspective slider to around minus 20 or minus 21. This is what works best on the Pimax 5K Plus at least for me. Also here enable swap eyes option, this is very very important. At this point we're done here, hit the home key on your keyboard to remove the reshade options from your game screen. By the way, if you haven't changed the CMU resolution to 2560x1440p, go into Options, then Graphic Packs, and then choose the correct game, which is Zelda in this case. Go to Graphics and change the resolution to 2560x1440p. I would not go lower than 1440p, which looks much better in VR. You can always use 4K resolution as well, but that's even more demanding on your CPU and GPU. If you had to change the resolution at this point, you will need to restore start CMU emulator and the game of course before we continue. Now make sure to have SteamVR running as before, start up Virtual Desktop. I know it's not a free application, but it's still a must have anyway if you have any kind of PC VR headset. Adjust yourself to the big screen in front of you, then take off the headset and look at the monitor again. Now do these changes. In the main setting tab of Virtual Desktop, there is a screen size slider. Set it to 200 degrees or around there at least. You can of course go higher or lower, but for me, around 200 degrees works best. Next, the screen distance. Set it to 90 centimeters or 0.9 meters. For me and my Pimax, this is the optimal distance for best immersion. Leave the screen brightness at 100% of course and set the screen curve to 90%. Of course, you could experiment with those values, but for me and my Pimaxes, 90% works best. Now the last thing we need to do is to enable the half side-by-side -side mode, not the full side-by-side -side mode, but only the half side-by-side -side mode. When you're done, before putting on your headset, bring up the CMU emulator window where the game is running and click options and then enable full screen mode. You can also do that by hitting the keys Alt and Enter on your keyboard. Now the game will render in full screen in a splitted side by side view on your PC monitor, but in the VR headset once you put it on, you will see the Zelda game being correctly rendered in 3D and in full screen of course. Make sure not to move yourself too much to the front or to the back or to the side, as we want to keep the distance and alignment to the big screen in virtual desktop VR mode. If you do move off your sweet spot, you will need to recalibrate your sitting position again, and it's very important that you're correctly seated with the correct distance and position relative to the big curved screen while being in VR. So the result of all this is shown here, looking at the extreme left and right sides or to the bottom or top, you will will of course see the edges of the screen a little bit, but as long as you do normal head movements looking around you, you will hardly see these edges at all. Well at least on the horizontal plane, because the vertical field of view is not as wide, and the game view in first person and with 3D will just look stunning in VR, with basically perfect scale, a nice 3D depth, and your head movements will basically feel like the head is tracked in VR, with real head tracking. The movement and all interaction in the game is made with a gamepad of course just as before, as well as turning your character around and the head movement is only to look around you. Now you may also wonder if the standard third person view works the same way. Unfortunately it doesn't, not as far as I can see. Sure, restoring the original view mode by using the original pack file we renamed earlier, you will bring your character into third person view mode again, but this view looks really weird in 3 
3D and in VR, as the perspective is just not correct. The image looks simply wrong and your character seems to move very slowly because of the wrong perspective. So I would say stick to the first person view mode here if you really want to enjoy Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR, at least until a proper VR mod gets released. Now when you know how to get all this running, I think I need to mention some of the flaws by playing Zelda in this first person mode. First of all, it makes the game way more challenging and difficult to master, not only because you don't see what's happening behind you, but also because it takes probably a few hours until you get used to the aiming of the weapons and also the movement in general and game interaction. This game was made for third person view after all. Secondly, from start, you may feel your character is a bit short, maybe too short. I wouldn't say your view is too low down, but I think it's just the fact that everything looks different from a first person perspective and I got used to it quite fast. Next, riding a horse is a bit tricky. You will understand that when you try it. It's not difficult, I would say, but it takes a certain amount of time to get used to it. Also, when using melee weapons like swords, you will hardly see them in action. Well, you can see them, but it will not be so obvious that you are actually hitting your opponent. Also the bows and arrows, they work great indeed, but again, you will not see the bow in front of you as expected. The menus, including inventory, are easy to interact with, but they are spread around the whole viewable and curved image area, so you will need to look around and move your head a lot to see everything. The 3D view made by Reshade is not real geometry 3D, it's emulated Z buffer 3D, which could look a bit weird at times, but most of the time it actually looks good. It's very simple similar to how fake 3D modes looks in Vorp X actually. Lastly, the performance. You're gonna need a PC Master Race rig playing this on an acceptable frame rate, at least with a 1440p resolution or higher, no matter what headset you use, because the CMU emulator plus reshade is the problem here, being very, very CPU hungry. The better processor you have, the better frame rate. I'm using personally an RTX 2080 Ti graphic card with an Intel i9 9900K at 5 GHz on all cores, and my frame rate jumps around very much between stable 90 frames per second but even down below 50 frames per second at times with the 1440p resolution. Going with 4K resolution this looks even better in VR of course but you will get slightly lower frame rate. Playing Zelda with CMU on a PC monitor without reshade filters is actually butter smooth but once I install reshade which is needed for the 3D mode in VR the frame rate basically drops between 30 and 50% so if you have a slow CPU, this 3D mode in Zelda is probably not for you. Of course the game is playable in VR as long as the frame rate is above 45 or maybe 40 frames per second, but once it drops further down, it all becomes very frustrating. Well, I know. A dedicated and native VR mod will solve a lot of these issues and will work probably much better, but we don't even know when it will be available, if ever. For now, this is a great alternative way of playing Zelda Breath of the Wild using a VR headset with your PC. So give it a go, follow all these steps carefully, try it out a couple of hours and let me know what you think about this guys. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel Suivai. I would also like to say thank you to BSOD Gaming for his great videos and channel in general that helped me achieving this. Also a big thanks to all my lovely subscribers and of course Patreon supporters including my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. I'll see you in my next video guys, cheers!